any, so all that's, all that's done. Now, um, we have, we are down to our public comment time. I would like to uh, recognize Mrs. Karen Lamarone, who is, uh, has three minutes to speak. Thank you. You're welcome. Madam Chairman and the Board. Uh, my name is Karen. I'm a mother of three in the Pulaski County Special School District. Uh, I am here today not speaking just uh, on behalf of myself. Uh, I'm here representing 1,110 other parents, educators, and taxpayers in our state who have some very serious reservations about the Common Core Initiative. We are not alone in this regard. Six other states have pulled out of their park agreement. Twenty-two other states currently have legislation pending to either get out of Common Core or to make significant changes to it. After listening to what was said this morning, I have come to the conclusion that this board is clearly as uninformed as the parents are or were when these standards were adopted. We were told the same thing that you were told, and that Common Core is a set of rigorous, college-ready, internationally benchmarked standards that prepare our kids to compete in a global economy. This is nothing more than an empty sales pitch for corporations and government agencies to profit from our kids and sell them downriver in the name of saving education. I have a math question for you, board members. Are you ready? Get your pencils out. I'm not kidding. Are you smarter than a common core fourth grader? Let's find out. The problem is, Mr. Yamada's class has 18 students. If the class counts around by a number and ends with 90, what number did they count by? I'll restate the problem. Mr. Yamada's class has 18 students. If the class counts around by a number and ends with, num with 90, what number did they count by? Does anyone on the board have an answer? Five. And may I ask, madam, uh, how did you come up with that answer? You know why? Because that's what makes sense, right? That's the way we were taught to do it in the fourth grade level. This, however, is what the Common Core Standards expect our fourth graders to do. If they solve it in those two steps, they get it marked wrong. They are expected to draw 18 circles with 90 hash marks, solving this problem in exactly 108 steps. Board members, this is not rigorous. This is not college ready. This is not preparing our children to compete in a global economy. Skipping road memorization of multiplication tables is hindering their ability to master long division and fractions later on in the semester. And now our children who were testing in the 80th or higher percentile in math last year are now coming home with C's, D's, and F's on their report cards. Not because, as Arnie Duncan would put it, that white suburban mothers think their children aren't as brilliant as they thought they were, but because, thank you. I encourage you to listen to us when we send you our emails, despite the comments that were made by our uh, chairperson here today. Our concerns are not based on hysteria or propaganda. They are based on fact, and we are prepared to present those facts. Can you see the trembling in my voice? Parents have not had a voice here, and you need to listen to our concerns. We are moving forward with our legislature to make some very serious changes to this, and all I ask is that you bend your ear and take us seriously. We are college-educated parents. I come to you with 12 years of college education and a former member of the National Honor Society when I tell you this is not working, and it's not what they told you it would be. We will save the privacy concerns and the testing concerns for our legislature. But when it comes to standards, that's your ball court, and we need you to help us with this because this program is dumbing our children down. Thank you. Thank you.